But Mate, what we're going on with now. Smash on the wrong one. Beady boy turns up. Frame one. He has the cellar in hand, mate. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway. Oh, shit, we got Roy. Yeah, we have gameplay. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a good choice. Wants to, you know, abuse Belmont's lack of goodness. You play a top tier. Is Roy top tier? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Top tier is fine. Roy is very, very good. Maybe maybe he's warming up. Maybe he's trying to warm it up in case he gets through or whatever. I wouldn't go Roy against Hack. I really wouldn't. Maybe not. Maybe. Not. Roy does win the matchup, but it, I think it's like it's me. It's like with me, because I hate playing Cloud against Luigi, even though we win the matchup, and I don't know why. It's just Hack. Oh God. Even if I can't play without a couple of Guinness on board minimum, you're not wrong there. Roy missed the tech on that after. It's gonna get him. Trapped into that boy's boy's sword there. I can't speak to them. Okay, I'm back. Oh, we had a we had a fire alarm, but it was brief. <laughs> nah, you should keep the fire alarm on. It'll be more entertaining. <laughs> no, we're okay. We're okay. Yeah, so he's kind of going nuts with it right now. Oh yeah, the Roy is pretty good. They played them against Sharkman oh, earlier. No, he did down smash. No! That would have been yeah. He's at seventy. Tip of Belmont up smash would definitely killed there. So he's kind of going nuts with it. He went all in on that side B. Yeah, Grey is just kind of just using those holy walls, and so he's just jumping in between the intervals, but they're not. There isn't an active hitbox on the ledge. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely going to be rough for Belmont just to get Roy off of him. I definitely want to see some more offstage edge guards because you can cover the high recovery with an axe or something, and then he has to go low, and then that's the perfect angle for like a run off. Yeah. Forward. That would be not. That was such good DI. He went like straight left. Yeah, that would be kills at like 180 with good DI. Even on like midways. Oh, that back is going to take it though, yeah. Missing the jet. Tries to go in. He goes all in on the ledge. Grey J cannot escape. It's so hard to deal with Roy at kill percent. You just you take grabs and then you get sent into a tech situation by F throw, or you just take like random backers or just like random jabs, and it's so hard to avoid avoid the kill. Yeah. Who has one of the most more the most kind of streamlined, just good kill power in the game? Oh, he's not gonna make it back though. I didn't. I, I thought he was back. I didn't even think that he wouldn't recover from that. But sweet takes game one in pretty convincing fashion. I don't think we're gonna see Grey go for the plan. I can't see that going very well at all. I don't. Roy, see that. Definitely not. His plan is good at dealing with people who want to jump in, but he loses horizontal warfare. Yeah, yeah. By far, so it's not good. He doesn't really have that many good deal. horizontal moves at all really I wonder what stage we'll see probably just a fat one like PS2 or something Grey wants to camp yeah well unless the, unless of course that was banned which isn't unlikely uh, Sui, Sui loves PS2 I've seen that man play, play well too it's much a very it's a very like, like universal stage yeah exactly I, I think it's obviously good for campus but i just think it's also just generally fine for most characters so it, it naturally has become a bit of a comfort pick for people i have some pretty tough moves as well i wonder why so isn't playing pitch or pitch or card of draft somewhere i mean yeah i agree but he's also been going for a lot in this tournament and yeah took shafts to draft spell one just as much I think it's just kind of like trying to play, because Roy was going to be his like original main, I'm pretty sure. And I haven't seen him play Roy for quite some time, and Pistol Friends like replaced it, so I'm happy to see him getting Roy on the go because Roy's pretty high. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that could have been dangerous if you didn't get that up. They, they were stuck on that platform. Many funny moments happen on the stretcher. It's kind of weird how the platforms change in this stage. But Smashville's is still static. 
Yeah, I think it's something to do with the hazards on oh. the off. He doesn't tether, but kills Sui in the process. They just, uh, yeah. The that double might kill. That intentional, actually, because if, if there's a, someone blocking the ledge, the tether will actually prioritize hitting the person over snapping the ledge. And Sui was at a higher percent than him, so it might have been intentional, you never know. Yeah. Nice. Jab into side B, but goes to the up variant, but doesn't get any follow ups. I don't think the down tilt was the right follow up there. I'm not too Harry's sure though. Cross the flex. Love to see it. Really? Not doing too bad right now, certainly holding his own. Nice forward air. That shot situation, Sui can't. Yeah, he's jumping consistently and Grey just not punishing it. I want to see either. Like a rising back air, or like a cross, or, or an axe, or something, just to cover that. Yeah, it's definitely so harder for Belmont, though. They're just, they're just not quite as, you know, they're not that mobile. But he definitely could be doing some things. Oh, he gets the forward air again with the stage spike. He could have dropped off on back air there, and that would have been a dead Roy, but... So he manages to sneak past it. I mean, it just kind of... It just kind of depends. It's hard to think of certain things on the fly like that. Grey also has that old man reaction. Ooh, so but he gets him on the get up. Nice, nice. I'll take that back straight away. Get to the neutral get up, even online. Nice. Nice roll read. I would have liked to see the down throw there, because that was definitely in true combo potential. Especially on town. Could have been a good death setup. Grey really getting some nice extra credit right now. That was dangerous, but Sweet not quite going to convert that. No sweet spot on the forward tilt. Forward He's missed that tech so, like consistently. He needs to start teching that, otherwise that's going to be a good kill setup for Sui. It's 1-1 one, one now, but Roy is so explosive. It's pretty much even in my opinion. I take yeah. it back. Yeah. Something. Nice going from Grey J though. He's jumped again. He's been jumping all this time. He needs maybe like a full hop there to cover like being an active hitbox to try and cover the jump. Oh, he missed smash. the up smash. <laughs> Oh, he's dead. oh no, that's a dead Belmont. Yeah. That's, that's very sad. Good edge guard on, on uh, Sully's part, but I hate like the sound of that wet noodle last sour spot on Roy's, uh, on Roy's sword. I don't I, know I what feel... his sword's called. I think it's called like the Binding Blade or something. I might be wrong. I, I've definitely, you know, I, I remember CSL, a bit of a throwback. I think I played Great Joe twice in CSL finale. I played him in pools oh and God. bracket. And a lot of the times I would just be kind of behind and then just throw him off stage at like 50 and just, just, get edge, him just edge guard him, yeah. Junior's got the disjoints or whatever. The fucking cannonball like back air forward air. They're actually pretty good moves in my opinion. They are. <laughs> but yeah, it's just so exploitable off stage. Yeah, I imagine we're going to get a run back back to town because both characters like it, but... And Grey Joe was adapting a lot in that game, he just wasn't punishing the jumps off of ledge, so... I'd be inclined to see a town run back here. Yeah. Three, and that's it, yeah. One, go. Definitely a good stage for Grey Joe, but... Sui was able to win on it last time and is... Coming out the gates... With Firing on all cylinders. Sometimes against characters like Roy and Mario, you just gotta kinda of gotta accept that you're starting your stock on like 40 or 50 percent. <laughs> yeah. You got that one hit. It's it's... Drag down. Oh, he only got one hit of the Nair. Wasn't able to get any drag down follow-ups off of that, unfortunately. Oh. He's missed the tech three times in a row now. He's gonna eat so many punishes. Needs to start teching that. It's hard on Wi-Fi though sometimes, but you do have to hit it if you wanna win this matchup. That's gonna be a bad up B. So he's going to punish accordingly. Hard punish with the forward smash. Rose forward smash is so stupid sometimes. Rigi can pull back though. So he's going to jump off a ledge again. He needs to start punishing that. If he wants to start. Again, he does it again. I think it's sweet. Maybe Sui's just realized at this point. I'm not getting punished for this. So why don't I just go for it every time? Yeah. It's... If you're not getting punished for something, it's always safe, right? Exactly, yeah. He needs to start adapting, especially on the ledge. It's where Belmonts have so much of their kill power. Not there, though, and, and he gets... Get yeah. 
in, in that situation, he would have been better off jumping. Do you have to see it? Catch a neutral get up, misses the up B. This could be a dead bomb on here. So we get the right edge guard, obviously, the ledge trap instead. The jump, holy water. A signature move on ledge of Grey Jays. Yeah, but I mean, he could just get a few hits. Try to even things up here. Sour spot jab, but he gets a full hit of Nair. Grey Jay in a tough situation right now. I think it's in a roll here. Oh no, gets just a get up attack after having no invincibility. That's a bold move, but what kind of worked out for him. Oh yeah, he gets the jab forward there and then goes for the jab back straight after. See, I didn't on that, but that could be a dead Sui. He's gonna jump again. Oh no, he neutral get ups again. Nice combo from Grey J though to get a little bit of extra damage and on again. that. Why is he neutral get upping if he hasn't been punished for jumping these times? I don't know. Down throw, a double up air. Catches him with the back air into the up smash. I have no clue what that combo was. That was cool. I think Sui's going to be looking for that down tilt forward smash on the mistech, maybe. Probably about the right percent for or, it on or against Belmont. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm actually called. Oh. Oh. That, that, that's a dead Sui. Why fuck? Nice. I'm calling it. This is how it's gonna end. No. Oh no, he makes it back though. He had his jump. He's safe. He's safe. I'm calling it. It's gonna be a forward throw into forward smash, and that's how Sui's gonna win the game. Maybe not at this percent though. If he does it wrong, then maybe. I'm not sure though. Oh, I think it's too high percent now, and that's yeah, back here. That's game. Oh, now we have to see the run back, and I really hope it doesn't go to a reset because I am very tired. But we'll see. I think this is this has been faster than last week's tournament, which was way smaller. Yeah, true. Yeah. I need to do all the vods from last week. Still, actually, I've been slacking. Cringe, suck, absolutely cringe. I've got them uploaded. I just don't have thumbnails ready. But I'll do all that work tomorrow, or maybe at the end of my evening, because I'm still going to be awake for a bit after this. Unless it goes to a reset, of course. In which case, we could be here for like another hour. This is why we need trio commentary, so you, that it doesn't depend on you as much, and you can start getting stuff done while we watch the match. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Go Janko in here. Well, what do you want me to do? Upload VODs whilst I'm streaming? Yes. That's it will just be, it, will, it will just make the connection like the connection more jumpy or make it more entertaining to watch. Of course, we'd be doing like that's funny. They did like Smash Summit where they had the ping constantly going up. Did oh, you see that? That was funny. That was yeah. hilarious. I don't even remember who won that, but. I mean, we're, we're getting right back into it soon. Yeah, but 